Equations of lines. Equations of lines have three main forms that they could show up in. The first of these forms is slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is exactly what, we, what it means. Slope is m and b is our y-intercept. Slope-intercept form is your y equals mx plus b form. Remember the y-intercept is the spot or location where the line crosses the y-axis. Next is the point slope form. It is named because you use a point, in this case xy, and a, po and a slope m. So we have slope point. Lastly, we have standard form. Standard form has your x and y variables on the left side of the equation and your c variable on the right side of the equation. Two things about standard form. No fractions. Standard form will not have fractions in it. The other thing is your a variable is always positive. Those things are always true when we're talking about standard form. Let's try and use this. We want to write the equation of a line with the slope of negative 3 halves going through the point 6 8. We have to decide which of our three forms are we going to use. Are we going to use standard, or are we going to use point slope, or are we going to use slope intercept? Well, I'm given a point and I'm given a slope. So I'm going to use point slope. If you remember, that's y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now it's just a substitution question. We're going to take out y1, we're going to take out x1, and we're going to take out m. And we're going to replace those with 6, 8, and negative 3 halves. y minus my y1 value is 8 equals m, which are, that are negative 3 halves, parenthesis, x minus my x1 value, which is 6. I now have the equation in point slope form. Now if I need it in slope intercept form, I just need to expand it a little bit. I distribute the negative 3 halves to the x, and I distribute the negative 3 halves to the 6. 3 halves times 6 gives me 9. Negative times negative is positive. Lastly, I move over the 9 oops, excuse me, move over the 8, and I get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 17. So here's an example of how to get it into point slope form and how to get it into slope intercept form. Our next example write the equation of a line that passes through 0, negative two, 3 with a slope of 2. Pause the recording and try and see if you can write this into point-slope form without my help. Okay, again the reason why I chose point-slope is because I was given a point and a slope. Let's try and write it out. y minus my y1 value, which is negative 3, is equal to m, which is 2, x minus my x value, which is 0. We should always simplify, so I have y plus 3 equals, now if we look at this, x minus 0 is going to be the same as x, so the right hand side just becomes 2x. From here it's very simple to get it into slope intercept form, subtract the 3, and we have y equals 2x minus 3. We finish the problem, we have one of our equations in point slope, and the other one in slope intercept form. Here's another example. 
write the equation of a line that passes through the point negative 2, 5 and the point 4, 9. We do not have an equation or a form that says point, point. Therefore, we're going to need to use this information to find one of the missing pieces. The two choices we have are point slope and slope intercept. Notice both of those use slope. Well, if I have two points, I can calculate slope. I take y minus y over x minus x. 9 minus 5 over 4 minus negative 2 gives me 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. I now have a slope. Now let's use that to write our equation. We're just going to write our equation in point slope to finish the problem. The nice thing about point slope is when you have two points, you can use either one of them. I could use 4, 9, or I could use negative 2, 5. I'm going to use just 4, 9. Remember point slope form, y minus y1 equals m parenthesis x minus x1. And I'm done. To get this into point slope form, we just put in the point and the slope. To get it into slope intercept form, I would need to distribute and then bring them over the 9. We've practiced that a few times, so I'm going to move on to the next question. If you want, stop in and see me and we can talk about how this would work for this type of a problem. Next question. Write the equation of a line passing through negative 2, negative 5, that is perpendicular. The upside down T, as you hopefully recall, means perpendicular. If you don't remember that, that'd be a good thing to write somewhere in your notes so that you can reference it when that symbol comes up again. Looking at this question, let's see what it says. We want to write an equation of a line that goes through that point that is perpendicular to this line given. It looks very confusing because it has this 513 in there and the negative 8. All that is really needless information. All we're curious about is this 7 fourths. The slope of the line that we are given is 4 sevenths. What we need is a line perpendicular to that. Perpendicular to that, if you recall, would be the opposite reciprocal. Now we have our slope. We flip the fraction and change the sign. Now the last thing we have to do is simply write the equation. Here's the point slope version. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. We should clean this one up a little bit before we're done. Double negatives make a positive and on the right side the double negatives make a positive. We've now written the equation of a line. This lesson may have gone a little bit quick for you so feel free to watch it again make sure that you got your notes completely filled out so when you come for questions we can reference your notes and look back so that you have something to get help with. If you have any questions, bring them to class and I'll help you out.